Hey guys, this is Kelly. I am back with another layout. This process video is for Spiegel Mom Scraps. I am their guest designer for the month of October and I am going to link up her shop in the detail section below, so be sure and check it out. So for this layout, I am using this free cut file from Paper Issues and I am going to be using the sequin pack, the Sweet Summer Vibes. So the um, that sequin pack was made especially for this collection by Pink Paisley, Summer Lights, and I knew that I definitely wanted to use this. Even though it's fall, um, I still have summer pictures to scrap. I actually always have all seasons to scrap, so I wanted to use these pretty purples. So I took this pattern paper from the collection and decided that it would be perfect to back this heart with. It is a high impact paper with minimal effort. It just really looks, um, you know, like you did a ton of work and you really didn't. So I'm going to go ahead and get this photo mounted. This is a picture of my husband and I when we were on vacation in Ocean City, Maryland, and I put it in black and white because the colors were definitely not going to go with the, you know, the pinks and the purples and the teals of this collection. So to back my photo, I am just going through the different papers and I decided that this purple would be perfect. It uh, is a nice dark purple, so it's going to really set off the photo well, plus it just really has, um, you know, it it helps to bring in the color of the sequins that I'm going to work on the page. So when I was trying to decide what I wanted to do with the sequins on this page, I, you know, initially thought maybe I would do some of the mermaid scales of the heart. And, um, you know, I thought that would be kind of neat. But I, the more I thought about it, the more I thought that, you know, I felt like it would, you know, for the colors that I wanted to use, I thought it would be too much. So for this, I am going to end up using a frame of sequins around my photo. And I will be honest with you, this is one of my favorite layouts in a very long time. The, the addition of the sequins as a frame just is really, really pretty. And it's a nice subtle detail that, you know, it just really catches my eye at least. So I knew that I wanted to add a couple more paper layers uh, just to set off the sequins as well. So I chose that pretty turquoise paper. It has seahorses on it, even though um, you really can't see the seahorses. That doesn't bother me. I'd like to be able to see a little bit of the pattern behind the photo. So I pulled out this sticker. It's Electric Love, and I thought that that would be a pretty cool title. Um, it just the, the colors in this collection are just some of my favorites. And even though I've always struggled with scrapbooking the color purple and that, uh, that violet color, it just makes it so easy when you have a collection with multiple papers, die cuts, embellishments, you know, that have the color that make it easy to work with. So I'm just going through the die cuts and seeing what else that I want to pull out. I'm looking for color or phrase. Um, I know that I want to use a couple of these frames. One of those frames is that silver iridescent, and I thought that that would be a pretty addition. So my kitty Juliet has joined me. If you can hear her, she says hello. <laughs> right on cue. So there are several different pair of sunglasses in the collection and I thought that it would be pretty cool to add a pair on the page. You know, uh, just when, for me, when I think of electric, I think of bright. So, you know, sunglasses are always good for that. Plus it, feet, you know, it fits a beach theme. Okay, sorry about that, Juliet decided that she was going to take over my voiceover and it made me lose my train of thought so um, I just cut most of that out. Um, I'm sure you will hear her. She is still sitting beside me and purring so if you hear her um, I hope that she brings you comfort like she does me. 
So this is when I have decided that I want to do the frame of sequins uh, around the photo. And for me, for this one, I'm using the larger sequins because I thought that that would obviously take fewer sequins and it would have a better job of filling up the area. But, you know, the more that I put on, the more that I looked at it, I felt like they were too big. So off camera, what I'm going to do is just swap out the larger sequins for some smaller sequins. And I will come back in just a second and show you how the sequins look uh, glued around the the photo. And as far as adhering these sequins, I took um, a piece of that red line tape and I put it around the edge of the frame and I just stuck those little sequins on and they stuck wonderfully. So I did go ahead off camera and I stitched through this heart in silver thread. I will be honest with you, it took quite a while just because of all of the curves that are in the, um, you know, the die cut. The the stitching is not great. There are a couple of places where it's a little bit messy, but you know, for me, it, it's okay. Um, I would love for it to be absolutely perfect, but you have to know when you're doing something as intricate as this, that, you know, unless you are a master seamstress, I think, you know, there's just going to be a little bit of hand stitching look to it. You know, but for me, I think the overall effect of the silver thread far outweighs the little mistakes that I've made in the stitching. So I'm just cutting some of my craft foam. I am going to stick it behind the title. Because the title is a sticker and not a chipboard uh, accent, I really want to make sure that it is uh, got a lot of support underneath it so that it doesn't bend. And I'm okay with Actually, I prefer taking the smaller, you know, little bits of the craft foam and making it work behind the title because I feel like I can actually get more coverage than if I were to use um, the pre-made foam adhesive. So for this, um, for the this pair of sunglasses, I was trying to decide whether or not I wanted to use the same craft foam or the adhesive, um, the foam adhesive. And I just decided that because it was gonna overlap just slightly, um, I felt like I could get away with using the craft foam if, if it was going to overlap a little bit more, I would definitely need to make sure that it was a little bit larger just to offset it so that it would lay over the other. So that that's, was my hesitation with that, just trying to figure out exactly what I wanted. So I had pulled some of the die cuts out and this little smiley face with the heart eyes is from the sheet, the cut apart sheet that they have, um, that the Pink Paisley collection has that is full of different emojis and small embellishments and there's holographic scenes and things. That is definitely a good paper that is a big bang for your buck because you can use, um, you know, circle punch like I did and get quite a few embellishments. So I always look, when I'm looking to buy a collection, I always look to see if there's something that's similar to that, that I can make my own die cuts. So with this, I decided to go ahead and trim the holographic frame. I want a little bit to show on each side of the of the frame and I'm just using my washi tape to tape it back to the back of the craft foam until I can get it in place and I'm going to do the same for that side as well. I love that holographic feel and I feel like in small doses it really makes a big impact. I'm not sure that I would want it in a large dose just because of how, how reflective it is. Um, sometimes it hurts my eyes. I know that sounds kind of weird, but that's just the way it is for me. But in small doses, I really think it has a huge impact. So I had pulled out some of the different frames in the collection because I thought that I would be able to get several of them used on this page. And this one that I just adhered 
the bottom of it says every moment matters and I thought that was nice you know since it's a picture of me and my husband and then this purple one I'm going to trim in half as well I don't get the second half of it used on this page and that's all right um, I would have liked to have but I just felt like that it was going to offset the balance of the page and you know for me even if I can get half of an embellishment used that is you know better than it sitting in my stash so I'm going to go ahead and pop this little uh, emoji up on craft foam as well and sit it on top of the frame and that is going to be my second cluster I'm going to have three clusters on the page and I'm going to have two, well, one on the left-hand side of the photo, one by the title, and one where that camera is um, on the heart. So as usual, I got to pull out a doily, and I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to my doily. I love the little lacy effect that it gives, and I just really feel like that it helps to bring in the, the die cut with the heart as well and you know it's just one of those things that I'd love to add so I'm pulling out the different stickers just trying to see what I can get to work on the page this collection I really do like but it's one of those that I feel like I'm also gonna get sick of I don't know if that makes sense but for me I find that the trendier collections I love when they're first out but in like a year or two I'm not as apt to use it, whereas if this were a classic nautical feel uh, beach line, I would go back to it time and time again. I don't know if anybody else is that way, but I feel like when I've got a collection like this that I love, that I want to try to use as much as I can on different pages so that I can feel like I got my money's worth and I don't look back and have three quarters of the collection left over thinking, well, that was a waste. So I wanted to see if I could get some of these word stickers to work and I was able to pull out one that said good times and because it is clear I went ahead and put it on a piece of white cardstock and then trimmed the cardstock out around it and I'm going to layer it under my little emoji face. So this layout has a lot of purple in that purple and pink which really doesn't make for much of a masculine layout, but since the theme is electric love, I felt like it really worked well. So that was a seashell that I just layered underneath the face, the emoji face, and you can't really tell that it is a seashell. The seashell really, you know, just because this was taken out of beach, it doesn't mean that you have to use beach things. And, you know, seashells may or may not be, just depending on what your thought process is, um, not be a good embellishment for this page. But tucked under the that emoji face, it just brings that pop of yellow that is on the sunglasses and is also on the oh snap um, chipboard piece that I layered up in that upper cluster. So it helps to bring that yellow around the page in a balance of um, threes, which is something that I do prefer to do. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trim down my white cardstock. I really felt like the edges needed a little something. And when I saw this pink and yellow striped paper, I thought it was perfect. I really wanted to save this for a full page layout, but Again, like I've said, when I've got something like this and I know what I want to do with it, I'm just, I'm trying to use it and not hoard it and get it onto the page. So I do have some close-ups at the end where you can see the page in detail. Again, like I said, this is one of my favorite pages in a long time just because of the colors and the sequin frame and it's just, it was definitely a fun, fun page to make. So. Be sure to check out Spiegel Mom Scraps. I'm, again, I'm going to have that linked in the detail section below. And I just wanted to thank Jody for having me. And I will see you next week with another layout. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. Bye.